then I began teaching, I, you realize, you know, any artist that's been at it a while, you realize that you sort of have this backpack or toolbox of knowledge that you're just sort of, um, you know, it feels like intuition now, sort of like typing, like your fingers know where to go. And when I began to teach, you have to sort of back up and think, okay, what was I taught and what is now sort of commonplace to me that now I can put into words so that I can relay the same information to someone else. Um, you know, there there are certain things that are just sort of basic fund of knowledge that if you've taken a drawing course or a color theory course, um, you sort of know and you move on from, but then you have all these people taking your workshops that, that don't know those things. And um, so I've, I've put a lot of effort into um, how I can teach color theory or how, you know, how light behaves so that you can begin looking for it and, and predicting it and making decisions on what you know, um, you know, how that relates to value and mixing paint. Um, you know, in, in my workshops too, I also talk about um, toning and, you know, why you might use that and why you might choose different ways to do it. There are all these things that sort of need to sort of come together and as you move up the py pyramid, so does your mastery. And um, it can feel both daunting um, and also challenging in that, you know, how, how good is your drawing? How well do you understand composition? Um, color, value is color, um, design, um, expression, something that often gets left out of um, representational work. You know, does it have a voice or a motif or an expression? And um, if, you, if a student can sort of rate themselves, um, you know, ha then they can sort of identify, okay, this is what I, I would like to be working on, understanding value better, understanding color better. So I try to get students to sort of identify where their weak points are, where their strengths are, and then um, when I get around to their easel, we'll sort of have that conversation of, you know, what are your goals and what are, you know, what are you learning, rather than just assuming that the path that I'm taking them on in a workshop is the one that they need.